you all and good morning. Carpetbagger here coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in St. Louis, Missouri. Yes, we finally made it to St. Louis here for Trans World, the yearly haunted house trade show. One of my favorite events of the year. I always try to make a point to coming out here. I have ever since 2019, I've come every year except 2020 when they uh, were closed due to the pandemic. Uh, it's actually very early this year. It is in the uh, beginning of February. Normally have it a little later in the spring. However, we're at the, actually the America Center is the convention hall where this takes place. They're actually going to be refurbishing the America Center, doing some work on it. So the, uh, the, the transport event is having, happening early so that it can happen before the uh, America Center it closes down for renovation. So I'm very excited. We, we're going to see different aspects of the haunted house industry, uh, animatronics, uh, costumes, just everything that's involved in the creation of a haunted house. So please, follow me. And look who greets us to Trans World. It is Slurg. This is Slurg here. Now, uh, really, that's a really cool, really cool giant inflatable guy there. It says, get your own Slurg at the Don't Be a Monster booth. The Don't Be a Monster is an anti-bullying group run by haunters. So yeah, very cool. I, 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 I already love the Slurg here. And I don't know this gentleman's name, but he is the mascot of, uh, of Trans World. You can see he wears a human skull as a mask. He chucks pumpkins. I, I try to think if he has a name, but if you know his name, leave it in the comment section. Some great photo ops as you come into the convention. You have this insect monster vomiting directly into someone's ripped open eye hole. This is the sort of horror that happens in haunted houses. And this is the baby. You can crawl inside the baby and out through its horrible mouth. It's looking like actually being like born out of a baby, which is ironic. Oh no, look who showed up. It's the green meanie. All right, on to the convention floor. We're greeted by this jack-o'-lantern dragon. Look at that, the, the fog rolling out of his mouth and eyes. The jack-o'-lantern dragon created by Little Spider Creations. You can see the jack-o'-lantern tower up there. It looks like we can actually climb up the top of the jack-o'-lantern tower using the staircase. Look at this, what a view of the show floor from up here. Drop Dead Design Studios has these zombie staffs. It's got a glowing zombie head on the end of a intestine covered staff. Pumpkin Pulp has some serious creepy masks here. Oh, look at that. We have the, the prom queen there. Oh, very, very sinister rabbit of some sort. Oh, look at this. I don't think I've seen this before. It's a creepy catfish head. A zombie clown with a birthday cake on its head. We got a lady clown with some cupcakes. And then uh, it's just like a, a mushroom fungus filled zombie. And then we got the adorable Forevermore dolls over here. Oh, look at this. I like this one. The little, little baby creature from the Black Lagoon. We even got some Christmas themed scary babies. And, uh, oh my, these are the scariest babies. <laughs> oh, jeez! Gosh! I wasn't expecting him to do that. Oh my god. You're at Dead Farm Productions. It's like a little miniature haunted house here. Super tiny. Oh, look at that guy in here. Very, very spooky. Oh, what's that? Oh, who's this guy? Oh, look at this guy. Look at him go. Look at that. The ticket booth. 
over here. We got the Pope of Evil Town. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. Pretty good. Big slaughter emporium here. Love the diver suit. Something really creepy about a guy in an old timey diver suit. Stregaboon. We have this gentleman here. Says his name is Inbred Fred. Hey, Fred. These t-shirts are pretty funny. This one, I love the smell of fog fluid in the morning. Oh yes, I know the smell all too well. And yeah, when I smell fog fluid, it does get my heart pumping. Dippin' Dots has their own stand here, of course. Big fan of their mascot, Frozetti the Yeti. But check this out. We have a little jack-o'-lantern evil version of Frozetti the Yeti there as he's gobbling gobbling down the Dippin' Dots there. Oh, little Frozetti. Merry Christmas! What? Merry Christmas, there you go. <laughs> how, are you, how are you doing? Merry Christmas, may your dots go in your eyes. Dots go in your eyes, that's really graphic. Flavor would you like? Here, here. What do you got there? Yeah, you snacking on some dots? Yeah, so I'm giving you some dots. Awesome. Will you take care? Scary. <laughs> here at Inferno Effects, we got some spooky dangling Christmas ornaments here. Oh, look at that ornament there. It's got a big chomping mouth on it and a uh, little, uh, little shrunken head. I'm a big fan of Christmas time haunts. And look at this, the, the classic Christmas ghost story, A Christmas Carol. You have Jacob Marley there in his chains. And then this is the, uh, the ghost of Christmas past, the ghost of Christmas present, oh my gosh. And uh, of course, the ghost of Christmas yet to come there, the towering hooded figure. And we even got, we even got Scrooge. Here we are at the Distortions booth. One of the premier creators of Halloween figures and animatronics. Oh, see the giant Reaper there. Oh, oh look at this little creature there in the capsule. Oh no, oh no, look at this, look at this. Oh no! Oh, here it goes! Oh, it sprayed me too! Oh, oh no! Wizard here, let's see if we can activate him. Oh, there he goes! Freaking out here. Oh, got a face full of mist. You enjoying your dipping dots? I'm enjoying my dipping dots. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you, you can only get them at Trans World. You can only get your clothes. You can only get dipping dots at Trans World? No, you're only in the trash can where I find Hell, you eat out of the trash? Yeah, somebody threw these good dipping dots away. I tried for some fireball ones, but they were out of them. Oh, that's a shame. And a Merry Christmas to you. Let your nightmares come through with your different dogs. Oh, Merry Christmas, Gary. Yeah. This is toxic FX. You can see all these wonderful rotten pumpkins in various stages of decay. There's beast craft props. You can see them all swaying. All the different ghouls there. Oh, so spooky. Oh, hey there, Batsy. Oh, this guy's pretty cute. Oh, oh watch out. The dapper cadaver here. We have some very stylish vampire hanging out here. Oh, I really love this Fiji. Fiji mermaid. Complete with the baboon face there. We have Mr. Jimmy FX Creations here. Hey, buddy, what's up? Hi. How are you? <laughs> oh, you gotta, you gotta have that, 
that uh, face protection there. Yeah, okay. Protection. Keep safe, keep safe. Protection always comes first. Absolutely. Even though I don't do great at that. Safety first. I don't do great at that though. That's you don't do good with safety? Can. You know, I, I'm paying pizza, but it's good pizza, kind of. Yeah? It has roaches on it. Roaches? Protein. Protein, absolutely. Protein. Think of it like pepperoni on it. Absolutely. Don't don't expect money from me because I ain't got none of that for you. Oh no, no, that's okay. That's okay. Nah, but I asked him for money. I, I, I scam a little bit. Oh really? Okay, okay. I'm going to get my money first, and then I just do whatever I feel like it on your behalf. Oh, okay. You know, that's all that matters. All right. All that matters is my money. Will you take care, buddy? Always try. I have no idea, no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Here at Rib Effects, we have possibly the most horrifying Sasquatch I've ever seen in all my days. That is not, that is not the friendly man of the woods there. That is very terrifying. A camper's nightmare. But delightfully charming mime here. I'm just curious about what's in this this uh, bucket of yellow liquid. Oh, look at that! We have Cthulhu-like creature. Oh, look at it hanging from the chain. We have a giant fish monster. And, oh no! It's even a poor, uh, a, a poor dolphin. Must have got caught in a tuna net. Fright Night Studios here has a wonderful collection of uh, giant. Fiji mermaids. See the tails there. Oh yeah, wonderfully ghoulish. Another one here, next to the tentacle. Some smaller props here. A little tooth fairy in the shadow box there, and uh, Franken pumpkin. A little Frankenstein-looking pumpkin head there. A mortal face is masked over here. Seriously though, these are horrifying. Really love these skeleton masks here. That one there is really cool. I don't know why, but this bull man here, possibly the scariest thing I've ever seen. Why stop at masks? You can have some strap-on monster muscles here. Love the fish men. Oh, shark heads. Shark heads are super creepy. There we have uh, Winnie the Pooh there, the uh, blood and honey version. What in the world? These saggy rabbit men. Oh, look at their eyes. Oh, this one's got crazy eyes. Oh my goodness. See the deep sea angler fish there glowing under his skin. I don't know, this kind of reminds me of the Thundercats. Oh, some delightfully cute babies here. Since if I'm not sold, pick me up. I feel like a real baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, gotta watch the head there. Oh, oh it is just like a little baby. It reminds me, reminds me of when Annabelle was a little baby. Her eyes were a little smaller. Ghost ride here. Some really cool carnivorous plants there. You can see one dining on a, on a head there. Here at VFX creates always some great props here. Oh, look at that. We got a little... Hey there, little guy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey there. Hey. Okay, 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 okay. Gore galore. Always has some wonderful giant puppets. You can see the giant boar head in there. Oh, there he goes. Look at that. Giant beast up there. We have a Santa-style Krampus. And some sort of giant wolf monster. Here at FantasyCon, we'll take a break from all the horror and come say hello to the good Colonel. Hello, Harlan. How are you doing? Mind if I, mind if I steal, a, steal a piece of chicken there? Oh, hey, Clowny. How's it going? Like your hair. Your froggy's fog. You're having frog stock 23. And look at this. It's snowing. Oh, these are those smoke filled, smoke filled bubbles there. Oh, look at all the fog blasting off. Oh, guys, we got some more, more clowns clowning around here. Hey there. 
carpet bag. Oh no, how are you? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you got candy? Oh, jeez. Sorry. Oh, 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 okay, okay. I can't help it. What, what, what? More candy? Oh, jeez. Ah, sorry, hold on. I gotta sneeze. You alright? Oh, yes. That's it. Oh, jeez. 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 Oh, Ah, trick or treat. What's that? Oh, don't tase me, bro. Jeez. F F F X mask. Some very unique weapons here. These peanut hammers. If you don't like a peanut hammer, you can try a uh, try a corn mallet there. Oh, hey there. Oh man. Oh man. What a time, car and evil. What a, t what a time to be alive. Oh no! <laughs> well, hello there. <laughs> oh jeez. Savage silicone here, I love this. Uh, it's, just a, it's just a hairless chihuahua. Oh look, they even have the little blobfish. It's like a burger, a burger mask there. Oh wow. <laughs> you ever seen a cheeseburger that can take a bite out of you? <laughs> oh, some creepers. Some creepers over here. Some sort of insect. <laughs> oh gee. Hey, Nomi, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, that's some good dancing. Oh, wow, look at that dancing. <laughs> oh, my, look at this. There's a wasp, it's a wasp-like creature. Life is sweet. Oh, look at this big, big creeper here. Hey there! Oh my! Yeah, these monsters are from Stilt Bee Studios. Yeah, these are some of my favorites here. You have the gnome and then the uh, leprechaun, of course, and uh, angry snowman. Hey Santa! How are you doing? Merry Christmas! <laughs> Graveyard ghoul. See the Ouija board there. Oh, look at that! Just moving on. His oh, there you go. See it move? Oh, there it goes. Oh, wait, what's it spelling? What's it spelling? Oh, 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 where's it going? Oh, yep, yeah. oh. Closed casket studios here. Catches my eye is this, uh, it's almost like a one of those carnival punks that you knock down with, uh, with a ball. Also, check out these spooky ghosts. Oh, wow. Oh, there we go. Studio Tech Media Productions here. We'll make these talking dolls with uh, projection faces. Well, guess what? It's haunted. There we go. I have an idea. Sapient Studios. This giant hairless rat monster. And I have a goblin here. A little goblin with some clown makeup and a tiny hat. Frankenfab. Some sort of smoking skeleton creature in this container here. Oh, look at that. Something's happening. Something's happening. Oh, jeez. Oh, I love their carpet bag. Let me show you the cloudest, coolest cloud shoot photo off ever. All right. We got a cute little water pistol here. Like we're at the carnival and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right in this bathroom, I'm gonna blow up the balloon. Ready? Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Bam! Oh, jeez. Look at that, man. Don't tell him I'm scared to death. 
Did you come over here, right? We got a photo up. Oh yeah. Under the hole here. Yeah. Got a camera back here. Awesome. This is the elevator. Oh. Get in, we're going now. All right. Oh, oh, pile in, pile in. Hit the down button behind you. Hit the down button? All right, down. What's happening? Okay. Oh, jeez. Slowly, slowly descending there. Oh, it's striking you now. Oh, what's that? Oh. Oh, <laughs> Two headed cobra. And it is time to enter the dark zone. See some of the stuff at work in the dark. The scare factory. You can see all these different animatronics thrashing pumpkin creatures here. Oh yeah, look at this pumpkin, pumpkin monster there. Oh my god, this thing is enormous. Oh my god, look at this spider skeleton creature back there. Oh, watch out! Giant zombie! Here we have poison frogs. Oh, look at that giant pig man! Got a farmer on a pitchfork there. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. Oh no! Oh, that's super creepy. Oh, this got pulled inside the wall there. Oh, it's an old classic. Oh, look at that. We got Santa Claus. Oh, look at there. We have Sam the Snowman. Pretty sinister here. Some uh, delightful clothes. You got a. Uh, a, a uh, apron made of faces, a little hat there made of faces. Hey, there. hey Satan! Worth to meet you. <laughs> oh my gosh! Haunt oh. Pay! Right there! Haunt Pay, okay! <laughs> and, and, come here, come here! What, what, what? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, you're putting a business card. You're putting you. business cards in my pocket. Uh, well, yeah. you look like you look like a man that I can trust. <laughs> how many? Wait a minute. How many business cards are you putting in my pocket? <laughs> All right, come here. Oh, oh, oh what, what's that? A giant magazine. Okay. All right, All right thank you. <laughs> this is Haunted Hills Productions. There's really cool puppets there. Hey there. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's, he's cotton candy and he's so happy. Oh, look. It's a teddy bear. <laughs> hey, Teddy. Oh, my goodness. We got a little pumpkin there as well. Oh, look at this. Sharply dressed monkey here. Oh, here we go. This is the meatball monster. The carpet bagger. Hey, how's it going? He's here. He's made an appearance. 
Oh, look at that. Got a little space march in there. A little oh, UFO. Carpet bagger. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops, careful. Got some wonderful sideshow banners here. Have these haunted dolls here, chained up in a box. And then we got the Mer Mummy. That's pretty cool. Brutal images here. Has some very creepy heads and jars. And that, I don't even, I don't even know what that is. Got Amy's abominations here. Some very, very spooky little animals there with giant teeth. Oh, I do like the the tentacle baby there, and whatever whatever that is. Oh, yummy! You can pick yourself up a deep fried hand. See the giant waggling Jack in the Box here. This is from uh, Kern Studios. This is actually they build Mardi Gras floats primarily. They have the Mardi Gras World Museum in uh, New Orleans, but uh, yeah, they do uh, do other stuff as well. Here we have this giant creepy jack-in-the-box here at Trans World. Morris costumes here. One interesting fact about Morris costumes, they, uh, they state that they made the uh, Bigfoot suit for the Patterson-Gimlin film. Uh, different people have disputed that, but uh, that's what they say. Hello there. Good evening. There's Black Moth, looks like a traditional oddities shop. You got your shrunken heads, your uh, giant teeth. Oh, this poor deer here deserves some love. Meet the Gordies. See a mummy pumpkin. And over here there's a sort of Franken pumpkin. Oh dear, what? Oh wait, what? He's putting a cannon. Oh! Jeez! Oh, Oh my god! What? Oh, the fog cannon! Jeez! Oh my gosh! This is this is lunacy here. Oh, what happened to this? What happened to you, buddy? Did you get hit too many times with the fog cannon? This is the Fright Bros here. Looks like we have uh, Raggedy Ann. Always got to stop by the characters. Unlimited booth. The creators of Zoltar and his family. Hey, tree. A little tree man there. <laughs> All right, check on Pappy here. Here we can actually check out a Zoltar with the cabinet open there. Hit the button. Get up really close. From the great Zoltar. Be happy while you're living for your long time dead. Uh, go ahead, my friend. Get yourself a little treat today. After all, you only did once, no? Give Zoltar more money. And I will give you give Zoltar more money. Some of the spookier friends for the Trans World Convention. Got a skeletal buffalo there. An evil skeleton deer. There's Woods of Terror taxidermy. I'm a big fan of using taxidermy in haunts. I do feel like it adds some realism and creepiness to the experience. Hey there, monkey. Want to give me a little fist bump there? Got Threadworks here. My friend Mason's hey, what's company. Up? So this is your brand, you started this up within the last year, correct? Yeah, we started this up in June. Uh, my own brand of airbrush makeup, and this is our first show, first Trans World, so we just kind of kept it short and sweet, nice little booth to showcase everything we've got. We've been doing demos all weekend, so. Awesome. It's going really good. And the gore patch here. Get a lovely uh, taxidermied werewolf head for your wall. <laughs> the Scareco 
creations, the giant devil head here. And then look at this, I love this uh, the dapper snowman there. Chernabog creations here, some really cool knitted creatures. See the knitted Freddy Krueger there. Little Chucky, the doll. The Cthulhu there, look at that giant knitted Cthulhu. Even have a dapper little Mothman there. And look at this, for some reason the United States Post Office has a booth here at uh, Transworld. Hello there. What, what, oh, 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 oh. oh, there you go. <laughs> Screamium here has these glowing zombie and Frankenstein heads. Hey, Clowny, how are you doing? What, 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 oh, hey, oh, okay, 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 oh, oh, you're cleaning the lens. Oh, that's some good, that's some good mime work there. Scared City, Antiques, or always, I don't know, I always, I always gravitate towards the, the fish monsters, always a fan of a, of a nice fish man. Oh, look at that, he's even got a catfish there in his paw. Here at Kirby Scary Farms, they're auctioning off a hearse. And I've actually thought about about uh, tra my travels. I thought a hearse would be great because I could sleep in the back, drive in the front. Although I've heard I've heard there's some issues with gas mileage. Um, he's just telling me actually what you're telling me that as long as you drive it like a hearse, you drive it like a hearse, you can get 15 to 20 miles to the gallon. If you drive it's not it too like bad. a Corvette, <laughs> you're not going to get that kind of gas mileage. So I'm not going to be flying down the freeway on this thing. No, no. I mean we on the way. Well. How can I say this? So you drove this up from Florida? We did drive it up from Florida. No problem. It drove beautiful. It's got 42,000 original miles. So, so you drive a hearse to St. Louis, you auction it off, and then you hitchhike home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. We just catch a ride. Hopefully one of the vendors sold a lot of stuff and they got room in their trailer for us. Getting <laughs> here into Dogwood Entertainment. Looks like we got a giant pumpkin there and a zombie, a zombie gummy bear there. Yes. Spooky. We can actually step inside the giant pumpkin here. Oh, there we have smaller, spooky carved pumpkins on the inside. Oh, there's the Joker. We have a really cool toothy photo op there. <laughs> hey there. How are you? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, look at this guy over here, too. Sort of bunny like creature. Oh, he's making squeaky noises. Electric shooting galleries. Some wonderful singing pirate skeletons here. Oh, that's a lot of fun right there. Oh, look at that. Singing Santa skull there. <laughs> so much fun. Oh, what a wonderful band of singing pirates. Tristan! Hey everyone! Welcome back to seeing me. <laughs> Here at Terror Terror Tab. At Trans World again. But, um, so basically, uh, one of the big things that we're doing now is we are uh, we created a awesome piece of technology that is going to be able to allow our Han actors to create uh, better interaction with their guests. All right. We know that Han actors, it's kind of you know difficult to get your full story all the way across uh, whenever you're just you know, spending a small amount of time. Yeah. Guests, even in the crowd, um, but for those guests that are really interested in going much further in the backstory, all you have to do is show somebody your killer's license. Okay. You're, they can tip tap this on the back of their phone. The technology. And now you have a full setup of pictures of your character, uh, how you want to connect to them. You get a full biography of the character. So it really provides. Uh, instead of having to sit there and say all of this, this little bits of small oh, information, okay. you're able to sit back. You as learn a guest, all this lore. Learn about it as you enjoy it, and you can sit there and see this character interacting with the guest in the environment. And you might see why they're interacting. Ah! Oh, look at this! A giant 
strawberry here. Oh, we got a strawberry chair. Yeah, celebrating some of the other holidays here. You can see the happy Easter rabbit. This is Winterland Incorporated. Some really cool figures, including this dino chair. Awesome, Bronta Cheris. I want this cob table. I want this to be my dining room table. It actually technically is a Christmas show as well. You have the giant Christmas tree here. I guess there is a, a, uh, a cash bar inside. Oh, I did not expect to see you here, baby Jesus. Let me just give you a hint. Stay away from, stay away from that side of the convention center. I, I, I don't think it's, I don't think it's really your thing. Hey, big happy Santa there. It's like he's ready to give a big Santa hug. This looks like a really sticky bench. Imagine once this gets in a real amusement park, how, uh, how it might actually become sticky and fulfill its uh, destiny. Hey there, singing owl. There's some good Christmas carols there. Oh, look at this. It's an animatronic uh, mailbox. You send your letters to Santa. If he's put the letters there in his mouth, oh. Oh my God, there are two tickles. He said that one tickles. Some singing. Reindeer there. The massive inflatable Christmas figures here. Look at the size of this Santa Claus. Big icy bench there. You'd feel like if you sat down on that, you'd just be super cold. Oh, and look at this. You have an icy uh, nutcracker there as well. Oh, look at this. Witch right here. Wonder what she's watering with that evil watering can. Little polar bear band there with the fiddle and the piano. You see the raccoon band there dressed up in their Halloween costumes. Now Santa Land here has a, a, a singing reindeer there. Then you have a mascot Yeti. I don't think that is Frozetti the Yeti. We got uh, red nosed reindeer here as well. And there we have the Grouch. Of some singing polar bears there as well. Inflatable snowman tunnel here. Some giant inflatables there. The snowman, the elf, and then a big snow globe there. In the Christmas light section. Got some Christmassy UFOs there. Big bright snowflake tunnel. Halloween Cart Rider looks like it's a, a uh, VR dark ride there. They're kind of a dark ride vehicle. You can see on the screen there what they're seeing as they go through a virtual haunted house. Oh, spooky. <laughs> oh, oh, saving up, saving up all the fog here. There we go. Oh! Oh, here comes another one. Oh, I hit that guy. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my goodness. Hey, go Chaos get back to the room. effects here. Oh boy. Let's see uh, all your little, little chunks of human faces there. Yeah. Hey, that's awesome. That's awesome. You have the haunters. Against Hate booth, Haunters Against Hate, an organization put together to help promote inclusiveness in the haunt industry and the haunt community. It says homophobia, racism, xenophobia, bigotry, sexism, transphobia, anti Semitism, injustice, because hate is the scariest thing of all. Oh man, what a convention. I need a place to sit down and rest my weary feet. This looks like a good place to rest. So thank you for joining me here today at the Trans World Convention here in St. Louis. And um, yeah, I love I love this convention. Always one of my favorite events of the year. I've always seen some cool new things. And uh, yeah, I'm already excited about next year. Uh, but I do want to give a special thanks. I wanted to give a special thanks to everyone here who came up and said hello 
everyone that came up and shook my hand, everyone that came and took a selfie with me. Um, for whatever reason, this, uh, this community, this haunt community has been very kind to me and very welcoming to me and I, uh, I greatly appreciate that. I, I, I never, I never want to lose perspective of the fact that I can only do what I do because there's people out there watching, because there's people enjoying these videos, that there's behind every view, there's a real set of eyeballs watching these videos and, and it's great to see people in person. Um, I can't speak for any other YouTuber, but um, it always lifts my spirits, always makes me feel good. You know, when someone comes up and says, I love your videos, keep up the good work, thank you. It means the world to me. And uh, for whatever reason, uh, a lot of people came up to me today and said thank you for, you know, thank you for what you do. Um, it just, it means the world. It means the world and reminds me that there's real people out here with real lives that, that watch these videos. And it uh, and it warms it warms my heart. So thank you so much, um, everyone that, uh, that came up and spoke with me today. Um, I got... You've been following along with my misadvent misadventures. Um, I got a notification today from uh, the body shop in Columbus, Ohio, that they have begun work on my car. The process has moved to the phase where they're actually starting to work on my car. Of course, they said it could be three to four weeks. Uh, did I say, is it three to four weeks or four to six weeks? It's gonna be a lot of weeks where they're, they're working on my car, so I don't know. Um, whenever it's ready, I will head back to Columbus. But in the meantime, I'm gonna be headed the opposite direction of Columbus. Um, I, I, I'm continuing my journey uh, from this point on. I think, I think we're gonna head west. St. Louis is the gateway to the west, and I think uh, west is where we go from here. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for watching these videos. Hope you enjoyed uh, this wonderful trans world <laughs> convention. And uh, I know I'm looking, I'm looking forward to Halloween. Looking forward to being scared by all the props that I saw today. A lot of, a lot of great stuff here and, uh, and a lot of cool people. I, I always always chance to say hello uh, to some people I don't necessarily get to say hello to all the time. But uh, thank you so much. If you like these videos, please subscribe. I'm trying to do videos about daily. I'm, uh, I'm going to be taking days off here and there for my own uh, health and sanity. Um, if you'd like to support the channel, consider Patreon, $3 or more. We do a postcard once a month from me. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, including the Kauai Carpetbagger Fiji Mer Man and uh, all that goes to help keep this ghost train on the track, this ship of the damned on the water, and this dirigible from hell up in the air. <laughs> Until next time, my friends, this one's in the back.